Joining me live, Charu Pragya, national spokesperson of the BJP, Mohan Kumar Mangalam, national spokesperson of the Congress Party. Mohan and Charu, welcome to you both. Charu, to you first. Uh, you know, the Trinamool MP's comment I'll come to in just a bit because I've got a lot to say about that. Uh, but let's focus on what the Congress Party has said about uh, the Tejas flight because it's more substantive. It's not a shameless comment like what the Trinamool was making. We, in fact, had invited the Trinamool to be part of this debate. They have declined for whatever reasons. Uh, Chunavi photo op, Charu, is the word or the phrase that has been used by Jairam Ramesh of the Congress party to describe this. They've said, you know, you can do what you want, but you need to acknowledge that the Tejas is uh, something that was, uh, you know, built by aeronautical engineers. It was the Congress party that was in power when the project was sanctioned way back in the 1980s, etc., uh, etc. Et Chunavi photo op, respond to that, Charu. You're on mute, uh, uh, you're on mute, uh, Charu. My apologies. Go ahead. A very good evening to you, Shiv. Congress spokespersons all speak as if none of the Congress leaders click pictures. What is Rahul Gandhi doing? Kabhi kuli, kabhi swimmer, kabhi he's trying to be amongst people. Aren't those photo ops too? Now, remember you're in public life. It's your job to show to the public what are you doing with your time. Tejas is a huge jewel in India's crown. We should not forget that. In fact, um, whenever it may have been sanctioned, today the way the status stands for Tejas or for a lot of our uh, defense mechanisms is that uh, Make in India has given a huge huge boost to uh, Tejas, other fighting things. Uh, I know there's something called Akash and you'll know all these defense things better than me. We have worked very hard under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi over the last 10 years to make India's defense sector as indigenous as we possibly can. So whether it is mm. fighter jet or submarines, we're trying to do it all by ourselves and that's a huge feat and India deserves an applause for this. Okay, now, okay. if there is... A prime minister who's taking pride in made in India, make in India, something which is going to fly our jawans, which is going to be, like I said, a, a, a highlight in our uh, defense mechanisms. Why does the opposition have a problem? Okay, so you're Can saying there's you nothing wrong in applauding very... the Tejas. Go, I got your point. Let's, let's take this one yeah. step at a time. Mohan, bringing you in, I just wanted to quote what the prime minister said after this flight. He says, uh, a flight to remember... Tejas is India's pride, a manifestation of the strength and skills of 140 crore Indians. Now, the Congress has said Chunavi photo op, uh, you know, the Congress had sanctioned it. The Prime Minister should be giving credit for work that was done even before 2014. I don't see where he has not given credit or taken credit for the Tejas. Why is it being alleged that this is a Chunavi photo op to take all the credit for the Tejas? Mohan. Shiv, uh, if you look at past elections as well, there is something mm. called the silence period where after you end campaigning all the way to polling, you're not supposed to campaign in any which way. And the prime minister and important leaders in the BJP have constantly violated this time. In fact, during the last round of elections in Karnataka, Prime Minister Modi chose to go and make a speech about Karnataka in Rajasthan when polling was happening during that silent period. In the, during this time, why do you think the Prime Minister chose at this particular moment to go ahead and have that sortie? In? I, I think it's great, by the way, that he did it. It's not taking away from that. I'm talking more about the timing of why he's doing it. It's because Rajasthan was going to polls at that time. And Rajasthan is a state that has maybe about a lakh plus people from its state in the three armed forces. So clearly he's trying to send a message to the electorate, which again is using the loopholes in our election system, but is completely wrong. So that's the reference to the Chunavi photo. As far as the Prime Minister Modi goes, he never thinks, he thinks the world didn't exist before 2014. India didn't exist before 2014. And he makes a lot of comments to that effect wherever but he But he's not he made any comments in this past. particular case on that moment. He hasn't. In he this hasn't particular said, case, he hasn't. He hasn't credited the genesis of Tejas that happened all the way back in 2001. The platform of Tejas, the evolution has gone through. He hasn't said that. He hasn't said all the hard work that's put in by the ADA, the DRDO, the HAL, the NAL. There may be five or six agencies that work together on this platform. Mm. And I am not going to take away from any of the work that's going on right now in the defense sector to indigenize either. I'll give him credit for that. What I'm all hoping for is the prime minister at some point in time chooses to look back and acknowledge the fact that we're standing on the shoulders of giants, especially in scientific progress we make in this country. Mm. Okay. Charu, 
it's not about the Tejas, it's not about, uh, you know, the, the credit. What Mohan and what the Congress are saying is that there is a silent period. Yes, there are loopholes, yet there are cracks in the regulations. You can do what you want. But they say that the Prime Minister has done this before, and this was also a smart way of Pradarshan, a smart way of continuing the campaign even during the silent period. How do you respond to that? I think that is Congress admitting to defeat already, finding reasons to blame their defeat on by saying that because the Prime Minister was visible and uh, he continued to, and in their words, campaign after the campaign period was over, that's why we lost the election. I think it's only that the Prime Minister has a lot of things to do across the country. He's not con contesting an election from Rajasthan. He was not on any of the seats which went in for poll just a day ago. So I'm sorry, are you trying to say that in this, uh, middle period, he's supposed to sit at home and not do any work at all. Is that what you're trying to say? I think that it is wonderful our Prime Minister takes so much pride in everything indigenous. I think it is wonderful that India is coming into its own and he's not taken credit away from anyone. He has in fact given very generous credit throughout. But you also have to understand that this push and this independence and this pride that uh, the armed forces have today it did not exist 10 okay, years ago. Okay. And yesterday was the anniversary of 2611. 15 years have passed since that terror attack. We saw how Congress reacted to that terror attack. We saw how lax security for our country was when they were in power. Okay. Mohan, you want to respond? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I, want to, I want to ask uh, the BJP spokesperson. We're talking about pride for the armed forces, respect for the armed forces. While the Prime Minister was on a sortie, the Chief Minister of Karnataka and a number of other important leaders were receiving the body of Captain M.V. Prajal in Karnataka. Why didn't the Prime Minister, who actually went when bodies of our martyred Jawans from Pulwama came, go to that particular location and pay his respects? Maybe because there is no election in Karnataka. You have to understand that Mr. Modi's moves are entirely about where and when I, an election is happening. Just, he is merely an election machine. Can I Go respond ahead, to respond? that? Yes, Charu. Yes, Charu. Sure, I, find that, I find that comment to be in extremely bad taste. In fact, I'm ashamed that a citizen of my country is saying this. If the Prime Minister had been present, what you would have said, you would have again said photo up. So I'm sorry, this is, this is just not done. And nothing that you insinuate today is going to convey that our Prime Minister is not concerned with the welfare of each and every citizen of this country and most especially every single person who's in a uniform today protecting the borders of our nation. I'm sorry, it's just in bad taste to make a comment like that. If he goes and encourages, uh, you know, the armed forces, you have a problem. He spends every Diwali with them, every single Diwali since the last 10 years. And uh, I think that's been wonderful. He's flying a sortie. You have to find something to criticize. That's your problem. And that's exactly why Congress is no longer in the hearts of people of this country. They've understood how petty you are, how petty your thinking is.